I I brought my baby to school. Aloha my kako. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be telling you guys my 16 and pregnant story. I've been wanting to film this for such a long time, but I just never had the time to do it. So here we go. Me and Darren started dating back in December 2005. I was 16 years old, still in high school, and he just graduated in the year 2005, so he was 18, and it was about three months into our relationship. He had joined me and my family on a camping weekend at Bellows on the island of Oahu. It's like the east side of Oahu, and we were camping for Easter. Mind you, I'm only 16 years old during this time in the year 2006. I literally slept the entire camping trip now it's really noticeable that i'm in bed all day and i'm sleeping because we're camping and we're all together and instead of me being outside with my family and spending time i'm in the tent sleeping the whole day i never slept that much in my whole entire life Darren was just hanging out with my family i was just sleeping my life away inside the tent the whole trip and Darren ended up telling me your mom asked if you're pregnant and i was like what that is so weird and then i asked him why did she ask you that because at that time i did not know i was even pregnant i didn't even know any symptoms of being pregnant so at that time i was clueless i did not even think i was close to being pregnant but of course mother knows best because at that time she did notice something so my mom asked darren is no hair pregnant and so darren says no and then she says okay because she seems to be sleeping a lot and so darren told me that and i was just like that is so weird i'm just tired i think i'm, I'm just tired after that caffeine trip i slowly started to get more symptoms of being pregnant this was my first pregnancy obviously i'm 16 years old i'm so high school i'm a freaking junior in high school weeks go by i get more symptoms i start to feel nauseous a lot during the morning especially okay morning sickness i would try to vomit i would be so nauseous that i would try to vomit but nothing would come out except my saliva from leaving my mouth open for so long like i'll be like this over the toilet like and then your mouth is left open for so long the saliva is just collecting and that's all i would spit out i would not vomit anything up it was just my saliva collecting because i was like but anyway i think it was once i noticed i didn't get my period when i should have gotten my period i asked darren to get me a pregnancy test <sighs> and he went to 7-eleven bought like two boxes of pregnancy tests so i tested one out and lo and behold i am preggers i was hapai hapai obviously I means pregnant in hawaii so <laughs> i was really 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 scared i'm a junior in high school i'm 16 years old this is only my second real serious boyfriend we've only been dating for three months so i was just like my mom had been drilling me to not get pregnant young for a while my sisters all got pregnant young my oldest sister she got pregnant at 16 years old as well and then my other sister who is older than me she got pregnant i believe at 18 getting pregnant young it seemed to kind of like run in the family if that was even possible so my mom she would only just say don't get pregnant don't get pregnant don't be like your sister at that time i had no sex education at all and i'm telling you sixth grade usually they introduce sex education and you have a sex education class i did not go to school that day i don't know if it was my mom signing the paper off like she's not gonna be coming to school fast forwarding into high school i had still no sex education i didn't know anything about birth control i didn't have any sex ed classes the school that i had attended from seventh grade to graduation is a hawaiian charter school we did a lot of hands-on learning we did rallies we would go to the beach for our classroom and it would really revolved around hawaiian culture and our identity and just real world life but nothing really about sex education i was clueless so when i was pregnant i just didn't know and i didn't expect anything because i didn't know how to prevent from being pregnant if that makes any sense like i was really really clueless i did not know anything like nothing so i had a boyfriend before darren and he was like my first real relationship my sister 
she would tell my mom, you need to put no hair on birth control. You know, you don't want her to get pregnant. She's starting to probably have sex already. I don't know where I left off because I'm called. My mom's response to her was, no, I don't want to give her birth control. That's going to send the wrong message. It's going to let her think that I am allowing her to have sex. So my mom didn't put me on birth control. Thanks, mom. It's okay. I knew I was pregnant and I knew I had to tell my mom. I knew I had to tell my dad. I was so nervous. My dad, like he was the kind of dad that gave us lickings with the slipper, with the belt. He was that kind of dad, but I'm pretty sure he wouldn't have hit me if I was pregnant. I was pretty scared of my dad. That's just like a local father kind of thing. Hawaii, you know, slipper. Basically, was in the car alone with my mom and I told her, you know, I, I think I'm pregnant, mom. And then she looked at me and she's like, I knew it. And I was like, what? <laughs> you knew I was pregnant? She called up a clinic, it wasn't even my regular doctor, to schedule me getting birth control. She just thought like, that was the time to finally put me on birth control because we weren't sure that I was actually pregnant. We didn't get it confirmed. So we go to the clinic, I take the test, the doctor confirms that I'm pregnant. So we get in the car and my mom is more silent than usual and so just lecturing me. I told you not to get pregnant when you're young. What about college? What are you gonna do? Abortion, adoption? My mom told my dad that I was pregnant and he didn't really come up to me or anything or talk to me about it. I went up to him. I'm a daddy's girl, so it's like, Father. I call him father. Father, are you mad at me? And then he's just like, and I remember that line so vividly in my head. With my mom, I kind of like don't really listen to her. My mom's watching this. She knows very well. She's probably laughing her head off right now because everything she says to me, I'm just like, la, la, la. it's like I don't want to listen to her and it just goes through one ear out through the other. Darren already knew because once I found out, I told him. He was okay with it. He was actually kind of happy about it. I was just like, oh, surprisingly because we've only been dating for three months. What normal guy would date a girl for three months and be like, oh yeah, I want to have your kid. Like, no one. Like, what, what? Darren ends up telling his parents and they were really disappointed with him as well. I think he said that his mom was like telling him, I told you not to get her pregnant. <laughs> his parents, get this, wanted us to get married. I was only 16. <laughs> we only been dating for three months and I was like, I'm not gonna get married just because I'm pregnant with his baby. And even Darren agreed. His family was really religious and they thought it was like the right thing to do for us to get married because I was pregnant. But I was like, I'm religious too. Like what the fuck? I remember my mom's friend coming over one day as she was had to just vent to her friend and they brought me and Darren outside and then they made us sit down and they were asking us, okay, what's your plans? What do you want to do? Adoption? Are you thinking about doing an abortion? You guys need to figure this out now because it's is real life my mom has suggested abortion i was just like i can't do that i can't abort my baby that's just my personal mindset i just couldn't do that even darren he was very against abortion he was like no we're gonna have this baby we're gonna figure things out we're gonna be together blah 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 i got pregnant at the ending of my junior year in high school so by the time <laughs> that i was a senior my first day as a senior in high school i was full blown pregnant i had a huge belly everyone was probably like all my friends knew about it at the ending of our junior year because I showed them like the ultrasound. I was like, mm. I was that kind of girl, like, look at my ultrasound, guys. I, I was 60. So weird. Anyway, I was so blessed to have been able to still attend high school while being pregnant because sometimes you're not allowed to do that in certain schools or you're just not able to because being pregnant takes a toll on one's body. My mom was just like worried about me graduating because I didn't even start senior year yet. I knew everyone was gonna think, you are not gonna graduate because you're pregnant. You are gonna be a failure. So I wanted to break that stereotype. I made sure 
I worked so hard my senior year. Senior year, I was able to bring my baby to school. Think about that, that's a weird image to think of. You wouldn't think that would be even possible, but I was so blessed to be in a school that is so small and it's a charter school, so they're smaller schools. There's only 200 students and that's from kindergarten to senior. I was in class, I had my daughter in my arms she was such a good baby. Cool Lena is who I'm talking about. She's my oldest. She is our Hiapo, which is our oldest. Such a good baby. Like, I brought her to school, guys. Like, can you just picture this in your mind? I'm carrying my baby in her car seat, pushing her on my stroller. I'm like, I'm going to algebra, guys. Gotta go to class. Pushing my stroller with my baby. I would breastfeed her while I was doing homework. While I was doing work, I would breastfeed her. I literally would be breastfeeding her like this. Let's just pretend this is my daughter. So I'm like literally breastfeeding her in class. I'm a senior in high school, breastfeeding her, and I'm just doing my homework with my other hand. I literally multitask. I was making sure that I had my grades up, that I was gonna graduate, that I wasn't gonna be a failure just because I got pregnant. I literally had her stroller, her car seat with us because our school, like I said, we would go on multiple field trips. We would go to the beach, the park for class. I would bring her along like we're in our bus. I'm bringing the stroller with me. I have her diaper bag, everything. I would be on the computer typing while I'm breastfeeding her, while I'm writing my homework. I was so determined to make sure I was going to graduate. And so I did. I graduated. I graduated the year I was supposed to graduate, 2007. I graduated with a 4.0. <sighs> Yes, I broke the stereotypes. I literally brought my daughter to school. I didn't stay home and been like, oh yeah, like I'm not gonna go to school because I'm pregnant. No, like I brought my baby to school, to high school. I brought my baby to high school. I remember being pregnant and everyone treated me so well while I was pregnant during my senior year. I was just like walking around like, oh my gosh. All my classmates would help me out from my guy friends to my girlfriends. They would help me out. Oh, you want a chair? Oh, you want to sit here? You know, like, oh, let's open the door for her. I would bring snacks in class because I was always hungry because I was pregnant. So I'd be like eating my snacks and my best friends would be like, can I have some? I'm like, I'm pregnant, guys. This is for the baby. And I would be like pushing my shoulder and everyone would be holding the door open for me. And I'm like, yes. I even brought her to my senior prom. This is no ordinary school. If you think of a public school, it's nothing like a public school. It's very Ohana based. It's very close knitted. We're like more of a family. We had brought her to prom. Like I'll show all these pictures. There's so many memories. And I had her at the beach with us. Like while we were taking our senior pictures with all my other classmates. There is so much memories. And Puolena got to go to school, high school with me. It's like so crazy to think back on that. So that is is my 16 and pregnant story and how I told my parents to be pregnant for the first time. For the first time in forever, I was pregnant. For the first time in forever, I had a fetus. I'm definitely. <laughs> Sorry, mom. I parent my daughter differently from how I was parents about pregnancy and birth control and everything. My parents did not talk to me at all about pregnancy, about sex, about birth control. They didn't talk to me about any of those things. And I think they just thought that it would give me the wrong message that they were approving me of having sex at that age. I guess, I don't know. I'm definitely going to be very open with my kids. I'm gonna talk to them about sex. It's gonna be weird, uh, yeah, I get that, but I'm gonna be so open with them where they know facts and everything, get STDs, you know, like all the sexual diseases. I wanna make sure that they're aware of that. Going on birth control, practicing safe sex. I'm gonna talk to them about sex because I just feel like you need to properly educate your children you may not want to talk about sex with your kids or you may think it's weird or you might think it's the wrong thing to talk to them about sex but it's better to be upfront with them make sure that they know what they're getting themselves into everything like that everything else like just everything 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 i'm just gonna talk to them about everything back then i said that i would never 
get pregnant until I was like 25 like I had a plan but you know obviously I don't know what I'm doing I don't know anything about birth control or sex and education I just did not know anything of any of that I didn't know any of that but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my 16 and pregnant story. I hope you guys click that like button and subscribe to my channel because I am going to be doing a lot more videos besides vlogging. Vlogging is mainly for memories and for my kids. I love watching things that we do and just like memories of my children. But I'm also doing these kind of videos and singing videos because we like to cha cha cha. We like to cha cha cha. Okay, I don't know what that was. I hope you guys like this video and a hooey ho. Hooey ho. Welcome to my little. Yeah, I don't know. Was my story even interesting? A hooey ho. The way it got me. The way it got me.